Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. I said, do assembly makes a mockery of Nigerian constitution. What a shame. What a shame. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Uh, we know what has been going on with regards to as a Doe House of Assembly, how the Attorney General of the Federation has constantly been on the side of the wrong. And I don't know why they work against what will make the people move forward and things to be well. I keep saying that because when the time of Amuteku came, when um, the South West governors came together and says, ah, there is so much insecurity in our neighborhood, destruction of life and property we cannot continue like this as governors we need to do something we need to look after the people we have pledged who voted us in who did everything to make sure we become governors when they came together to put forth an outfit called the operation amuteko guess what the attorney general of the federation was the first to say they don't have a right to defend themselves it was an it was a security outfit it was not replacing the police army or soldier whatever they are just, okay, since it looks like, yes, because, I mean, that's what it seems. The army, the police, the soldiers are inadequate to protect the life and property of Nigerians. Let's come up with something that could also support. In fact, his resistance on it was so strong, was so much that you could not believe it. He said it was illegal, it was this, it was that, and everybody was wondering, seriously, what is going on in this country? Again, he has started. In Edo State, you know, the Attorney General... Is part of the is part of Buhari's uh, administration, and you know was appointed by Buhari, so he's an APC guy. When this whole issue started with the Edo Assembly, everybody was watching and seeing what the federal government would say. The Attorney General of the Federation, the first one, first one to put his hands up and said yes. He told the um, the whatever of police, the chief of police, to give security to people who have where the blind can see. That these people has thoroughly violated the, 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 the constitution. In a, according to Nigerian constitution, you know the way they are interpreting it anyhow, they do the things the way they want. They become the law. According to Nigerian constitution, lawmakers that have been out of the house for a particular number of days cannot, cannot, you know, they, they, their seats are declared vacant and um, they can put in another person. Another person can come in. Guess what? As the general federation said, it does not matter. They can go back there. He has given them security to continue. What a country. What a country. And again, what is going on in, on in Edo State now is a clear violation of our constitution. And nobody's saying anything. You see? Let's continue with the news and get all the details. That's why we are begging you, please leave a comment. It is going around the nations of the world. Can you imagine? That even a do state election, the United States of America has written a letter to Nigeria because of a do state of elections that will be taking place in exactly four weeks from four, four weeks from today. Can you imagine? The Americans are aware. So please don't think that you are just no, 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 you are not wasting your time. When you leave a comment, when you like and share, it helps the news to travel. Let's continue with the news and get all the details. As a do assembly makes a mockery of Nigerian constitution. Mm -hmm. The world is watching. Edo House of Assembly saga took a new twist on Thursday, August the 6th, when dozens of heavily armed operatives stormed the complex about 8 a.m. And police were all over the place. We saw renovation all going. Thinking that the federal government will address the issue and speak up, the Attorney General of the Federation said he actually gave security to the lawmakers to go to an unknown disclosure to be inaugurated, which is a clear violation of our democracy and our constitution because they've been out of the, uh, the house for a number of time, days that they are allowed out. The Attorney General of the Federation has gone on and has said he gave them the authority to be inaugurated. How does that relate to our constitution? We are not in a military regime. We are not in a di dictatorship 
environment. It's supposed to be democracy, but the federal government has not clearly spoken to the people of Nigeria with regards to how they are making a mockery of Nigeria's constitution because they have favorites and they have people that they support. We are calling on the good people of Nigeria to stand up and speak for truth. They got together and even in their unknown disclosure said that they've impeached the Speaker of the House and planning to impeach the Governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki. But truth be told, Nigerians will arise and will speak again. A clear violation of our rights is going on every day and we can see what those people are doing. They call themselves government. Are they ordering us around? The invasion of the House of Assembly and turning it into a drama when Governor Godno Baseki left the premises has become the talk of the nations. Everyone is watching clearly what is going on with Nigeria democracy. We wish to say that everyone in Nigeria should rise up and speak because when you keep quiet today, more, much worse will happen tomorrow. Well, this is what they are describing. A clear violation of our human rights is what is going on right now in Nigeria, where you can see that even the Attorney General of the Federation is taking sides, which is a clear indication that our nation is turned into something else. We must rise up and defend our democracy. We must rise up and defend our people. We must rise up. Edo State cannot be used as their media house. Well, people, one thing you can do is that you can vote. You can vote and don't allow your vote to be taken away. No one, nobody will take your vote away if you stand, vote for the candidate of your choice and defend it. It's a shame to think that some people will rather prefer that Godfatherism continues because of the benefit that they will derive. But Nigerians, a time, once upon a time, we need to stop thinking about I and think about we. That's the way we can enhance true development. We begin to think about everyone, inclusive. You know, we begin to think about our roads that affect everyone rather than I built my house. If your house is in a very, if your house, no matter how beautiful your house is, you will still ply on that road that is not what constructed and it will damage your vehicle. If we have electricity, constant electricity, you will not need to buy fuel. You can do what you need to do and that affects everybody. Not me buying generator and putting and buying fuel to fuel the generator and enduring the sound. Or does the generator not, does not, does it not produce is sound pollution? So there is a lot at stake. Nigerians, Edo State, the ball is in your court. Choose and choose wisely. God bless you. Bye for now.